Hello everyone, welcome to Physics Online Classes for Class 12 students. Let us continue with the chapter Electromagnetic Induction and today I am going to discuss Mutual Inductance of Two Long Coaxial Solenoid. Yes, in the previous class we studied what is Mutual Induction and also we studied Mutual Inductance. Yes, what is Mutual Induction? The phenomenon of induction of EMF in one coil due to unit rate of change of current in another coil. That is mutual induction and it is denoted by M. Then we studied mutual inductance or it is also called as coefficient of mutual inductance. Mutual inductance between a pair of coil is the EMF induced in the coil due to unit rate of change of current in the other coil or in the neighboring coil. Right? Now let us derive an expression for mutual inductance of two long coaxial solenoid. Mutual inductance of two long coaxial solenoid. Here we are going to consider two long coaxial solenoids S1 and S2 such that S2 is completely surrounds S1. Yes, observe this diagram here. We considered two long air cored solenoid. Air cored solenoid means the core of the solenoids are completely filled with air or this is completely having free space. We considered two long solenoids S1 and S2. These two solenoids are having length L. So there are totally two solenoids. You can observe here. Solenoid means what here? This is a long coil having N number of turns. This is the first solenoid S1. Similarly, inside this S1, there is one more solenoid we are going to con consider and it is denoted by S2. This is another solenoid. So we considered two solenoids and these two solenoids are completely filled with air. And here length of both the solenoid is denoted by L. The first solenoid is S1 having length L1. Second solenoid is S2 having length L2. Now you can observe the points here. L is length of each solenoid. Observe here L1 and L2 are length of S1 and S2. But both are having same length. We can take L1 is equal to L2 is equal to L. So L indicates length of each solenoid. A is cross sectional area of each solenoid. Both are having same area. Then small n1 gives number of turns per unit length and it is related to first solenoid. Is it clear? That is n1 divided by L. Capital N gives a total number of turns. Small n1 gives number of turns per unit length. So we can write n1 divided by L. So this is number of turns in S1 per unit length. Then this equation can be written as observe here. Capital N1 equal to small n1 into L. That gives total number of turns in S1. Then similarly for solenoid S2, N2 is equal to capital N2 divided by L. This gives number of turns in S2 per unit length or we can write capital N2 equal to small N2 into L. That gives total number of turns in S2. I1 is current through S1, I2 is current through S2 and here we are going to write M1 to M21. M1 to M is mutual inductance. M1 to means mutual inductance of S1 with respect to S2. M21 is mutual inductance of S2 with respect to S1. So these terms first we have to understand then easily we can derive an expression for mutual inductance of two long coaxial solenoid. Right? Now let us derive the expression. So first I am going to consider mutual inductance of S1. Mutual inductance of solenoid S1. 
with respect to S2. First we can consider S1 with respect to S2. Then later we can consider S2 with respect to S1. Two cases here. If you understand the first case then easily we can write the direct answer for second case. Right? Mutual inductance of S1 with respect to S2. Yes. Now I am going to consider the flux linkage of S1. That is we know that flux linkage. What is flux linkage? Flux linkage is equal to n pi. We already studied. So what is n pi here? The product of number of turns and magnetic flux. That gives a flux linkage. It means magnetic flux linked with n number of turns of the coil. So here I am going to write flux linkage of S1 is directly proportional to current of S2. When magnetic flux linked with the first solenoid changes, current is produced, produced in second solenoid. So I am going to write, see here, flux linkage, flux linkage of S1 is directly proportional to the current I2 of which solenoid? S2. When magnetic flux changes in one coil, current is produced in another coil. So we can write flux linkage of S1 is directly proportional to current I2 of solenoid S2. Or mathematically we can write it as flux linkage of S1 means N1 pi 1 we have to take. Right, N1 pi 1 is directly proportional to current in second solenoid is I2. N1 pi 1 is directly proportional to I2 or we can write here N1 pi 1 is equal to instead of proportionality sign we can consider proportionality constant and that proportionality constant is mutual inductance of S1 with respect to S2. So I am going to write M12 I2. What is M12? M12 is a proportionality constant and this is called mutual inductance of solenoid S1 with respect to S2. What is M12? Mutual inductance of solenoid S1 with respect to S2 that is M12 and this is proportionality constant. Let us take it as equation number 1. Now I am going to consider magnetic flux. See here I am going to write the magnetic flux due to first solenoid linked with the second solenoid is given by. See here I am going to write magnetic flux due to first solenoid that is S1 and this magnetic flux is in contact with the second solenoid S2 and then it is given by. How to write magnetic flux? We know the equation pi equal to B dot A. But here we can write pi 1 because it is related to first solenoid. Pi 1 equal to this magnetic flux is linked with S2. So we can write the magnetic field lines of B2 area is A. In general how to write the equation? Pi equal to B dot A. But here magnetic flux due to S1 is pi 1 is equal to B into A. Here I have to write B2 because it is in contact with second solenoid B2. A is area for both the solenoid area is the same. We can write A. Right now I am going to write pi 1 equal to. So what is B here? We know the equation for B and that is B equal to mu naught N I. So this derivation you have studied in the previous chapter. Magnetic field is given by the equation B equal to mu naught N I. So in place of B2 we can write it as mu naught N2 I2 because it is related to second solenoid A key passities. Or we can write the equation pi 1 equal to mu naught small n2 in place of small n2 we can write number of turns per unit length length is the same here l remaining is i2 into a mu naught n2 i2 a divided by l let us take it as equation number 2 
the first equation is all about a flux linkage of s1 with respect to s2 and the second equation is of magnetic flux due to s1 linked with s2 so we got equation 1 and 2 now we can substitute equation 2 in equation 1 so now let us substitute equation 2 in equation 1 substitute equation 2 in equation number 1 so equation 2 is what pi 1 equal to mu naught n2 i2 a divided by l equation 1 is n1 pi 1 equal to m1 to i2 see here i am going to write equation 1 here again what is equation 1 n1 pi 1 is equal to m1 to i2 here we want m1 to so first we can write this equation m1 to equal to the equation becomes n1 pi 1 divided by i2 now substitute equation 2 in this equation number here we can substitute see here equation 2 is pi 1 value pi 1 value is how much mu naught n2 i2 a divided by l i am going to substitute here therefore equation 1 becomes m12 equal to n1 divided by i2 keep as it is what is the value of pi 1 pi 1 is mu naught n2 i2 a divided by l we substituted equation 2 in equation number 1 so the equation can be written as m12 equal to here current i2 will get cancelled so the equation can be written as mu naught n1 n2 a divided by l m12 equal to mu naught n1 n2 a divided by l let us take it as equation number 3 is it clear so this is for first case first case is what here mutual inductance of s1 with respect to s2 we got equation 3 similarly we have to find mutual inductance of s2 with respect to s1 here only i am going to write the second case second case is mutual inductance of mutual inductance of s2 with respect to s1 second case we can write directly the equation observe here we got equation 3 that is m12 equal to mu naught n1 n2 a divided by l that is equation 3 related to case 1 here it is exactly opposite to case 1 so directly i am going to write equation for case 2 here m12 can be written as m21 is equal to mu naught keep as it is n1 becomes n2 n2 becomes n1 a is the same for both the solenoid l is also same observe both the equations here case 1 and case 2 equation 3 and equation 4 see here mutual inductance of s1 with respect to s2 similarly mutual inductance of s2 with respect to s1 we got the same equations observe equation 3 and equation 4 both are same so from equation 3 and 4 what we can write from equation 3 and 4 we can write m12 is equal to m21 what it mean mutual inductance of solenoid s1 with respect to s2 is equal to mutual inductance of s2 with respect to s1 so both are having same mutual inductance m12 equal to m21 so in the general how to write the equation for both the cases m12 is equal to m21 so directly i am going to write in simple m because both are same here so we can write m equal to mu naught n1 n2 a divided by l this is the final equation for mutual inductance of two long coaxial solenoid so this is for free space air cored solenoid the solenoid is filled with free space or air this is for free space suppose if the solenoid has relative permeability then how to write the equation if the solenoid has 
a core of relative permeability a core of relative permeability then the above equation can be written as m equal to mu not mu r n1 n2 a divided by l so this is for relative permeability right or this equation can be written as observe here i am going to rewrite the above equation m equal to mu not mu r capacities we know that number of turns per unit length that gives a small n small n equal to capital n divided by l this equation we already know that now here n equal to small n into l this equation can be written as capital n equal to small n into l now observe here in the above equation this is n1 divided by l n2 divided by l into a i am going to rewrite this equation observe here n1 equal to small n1 into l n2 equal to small n2 into l i am going to take n1 divided by l as n1 by l is what small n1 remaining is what n2 into a or we can write m equal to mu not mu r n1 so in place of n2 i can write n2 a l this equation i can write here so this is the final equation for mutual inductance of two long coaxial solenoid what is the final equation m equal to mu not mu r n1 n2 a into l this is for relative permeability for free space how to write the equation m equal to mu not n1 n2 a into l so this is the expression for mutual inductance of two long coaxial solenoid and this derivation carries five marks in your annual examination so this completes all about inductor we completed self induction as well as mutual induction so the last part remained from this chapter is ac generator that we can study in the next session